Hey guys, it's me, Mr. Higgins, your world geography teacher. Um, let's get started with today's lesson, which means I got to poke a flip chart. And there it is. Righty, righty, plug in my computer so we don't lose power. Yay! All right. So today's focus question, which you should be able to see at the top of the screen, is how are the events of the last Charlotte Carnegie Rockefeller story similar to what happened at the Berlin Conference back in 1885? A weird question, but one that is going to exercise your brain, and that's my job. Um, your homework for today is to complete the fact check that I assigned yesterday, so that needs to be turned in by midnight tonight. Um, there is a new assignment, which is due tomorrow. It's called Analyzing the Allegory, which I'll talk about in a few minutes. And then don't forget, you should be practicing your virtual map quiz, um, the Central Africa Plus one that was assigned yesterday. Um, short agenda today, I'm going to do, uh, go over the guidelines for our Google Meet that's happening later this afternoon. I'm going to talk about the Analyzing the Allegory assignment, and, uh, and then that's it. It's going to be a quick video. Fingers crossed. Um, oh, look at today's picture it's lp giving luna kisses it's so cute i love my dogs um the quarantine stories quarantine it's a weird word to say i invented it um those stories have been coming in they're super fun um i'm going to feature probably a couple of them tomorrow but keep them coming in uh, because every wednesday we're going to be featuring i'm pretty sure a couple of quarantine stories maybe like one from e period and one from d period each day um, our first Google Meet is scheduled for later today. D period, I'm going to see you guys hopefully at 1 o'clock. And then E period, I'm going to see you right after that at 1.20. The times for those, uh, not rather, uh, not the times, the links um, to get you into those Google Meets will be posted like 10 minutes before the Google Meet is supposed to start. And that is assuming I can figure out how to use this technology. Keep in mind, this is the first time Mr. Higgins is doing this. And if you remember back to the first day of sixth grade when I tried to use the flip chart for the first time in the Promethean board, not so great. So um, fingers crossed that this is gonna go off without a hitch, but I think we all know better, don't we? The good news is that sixth grade is happening first, so the big problem should happen to them today. All right, so our first Google Meet, even though you're at home right now and it doesn't feel like you're in school, when we're doing Google Meet, you're in school. And there are some rules that apply, and I want to go over what those rules are with you. First of all, dress code. Like, you should be dressing like you would for school, like I do. You know, like this nice fancy tie, like I wear every day. Um, you should be dressed the way that you would dress when you're coming to school on a normal school day. You should not be dressed like this. Seriously? Like, no pajamas, no bathing suits what it's not even that warm out and you're making people uncomfortable so please make sure you are dressed appropriately for school because people can see you thank you um location 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 where you film from is pretty important you want to minimize the background distractions going on so that people can pay attention to what you're saying as opposed to what's going on behind you you'll notice behind me there's like a couple of like there's a painting and like I don't know, some embroidery thing and a plant nothing that interesting you should aim for the same um you know like it, i would avoid uh using my bathroom as a background because that's weird and it will make everyone super uncomfortable and you probably shouldn't have like some netflix playing behind you while we're trying to have our google meet today because people will be more interested in that than what i have to say um so please make sure that you minimize the distractions in the background next up uh, <laughs> what I mean by that is you should mute your microphone when you start the Google Meet and you should only unmute it when it is your turn to talk. If everyone has their mics unmuted and there's 23 of us in the room, um, we're not going to hear anybody, what anyone has to say, especially even if you're not talking, there could be background distractions like your dog barking or your mom yelling at you or whatever the case may be. So please, um, keep your mic muted until you have something to say and then I'll call on you. You'll like raise your hand and I'll be like, oh, you. And then you'll be like, here's what I have to say. All right, moving right along. Oh, I think we're moving into today's lesson now. Um, that's the end of my Google Meet requirements. Um, and again, the link will be posted later on today. So don't be looking for it at like 9.30 and emailing me because it's not gonna be there. And it's not gonna be there till like noon 30, noon 45-ish. Um, 
allegory. So what is an allegory? Your assignment today is all about analyzing an allegory. And some of you might know this. I'm sure I've talked about it before, but I want to make sure that everyone's on the same page. An allegory is Mr. Higgins' favorite way to teach. It's a fictional story in which the characters, the setting, the plot um, are all intended to symbolize people, places, events in real life. Um, so most of the time when I'm writing my stories about Charlotte or Bob, I am writing them not only because they're fun and hopefully entertaining, but also because they're intended to teach you about something in the real world. So for example, last year when we read the story, a wealthy biscuit baron facing bankruptcy, who is to blame for Bob's business going bust. Um, in that story where Bob's dog biscuit empire crumbled, um, the, the character Blaine, Bob's brother, was supposed to represent Hugo Chavez, AKA Huge Chavez, the uh, former leader of Venezuela. Uh, today, what you're gonna have to do is go back to that story about Charlotte's first visit to Marcy's house and tell me who's Charlotte supposed to represent in that? It's an allegory for colonialism. Is Charlotte Europe or is she Africa? Who's Marcy? Is Marcy supposed to be Europe or Africa? There's a Google Doc for the assignment that explains everything that you need to do. If you have questions, you can email me or you can ask me in the Google Meet if it actually happens. Um, last but not least, here's what you should be working on today. Work on the fact check, the one I assigned yesterday on African colonialism. Um, that is due at midnight tonight. Analyzing the allegory assignment that is going to be posted at 9 a.m. this morning. Get it done. It's not due until tomorrow, though. Practice time. Make sure you get in one or two practices of our map quiz for the week on Central Africa and all the other regions as well. And last but not least, uh, if you have any missing work, if you have anything that you want to revise, get that done and get that into me as well. Okay, guys, I'm going to see you later on today and, um, and I'm looking forward to it and I hope you all are well and later.